the cops got called last night and I'm still on probation. I still have almost 10 months until I really get my freedom back. So I'm in this awkward situation where there are things that I want to do, but also things that I absolutely cannot do or at least shouldn't do. Because I was at Common House, which is one of my favorite places in Charlottesville. I go there to co-work during the day, I go there to eat dinner, I go there to socialize. I love the people that work there. We were having a great time. It was a Halloween party. Everybody was dancing and eating and talking and things were going great until conflict started on the dance floor. We were up on the roof and this lady started dancing with everybody and offering them $20 if they would go snatch the wig off the DJ's head. And everybody was like, no, no, like, we're good. Like, no, thank you. Like, sorry. So when nobody would do it, she went around behind, she snatched the wig, she grabbed the mic, she started yelling, started hitting things on the board and then kind of wandered off. And then she went to do it again. And now at this point, people are trying to intervene. They're trying to talk her down. And eventually they're having to physically get in between her and the DJ because she's screaming and she's threatening and she's kind of out of control. And that was when it really got crazy because that when she reached in her purse and she grabbed the taser out. And initially people just kept going, kept dancing because the taser going off doesn't look that different than a strobe or just another part of the show. And that was when I walked up to her and said, hey, they're gonna call the cops. Like, let's get you out of here. You don't wanna go to jail tonight. This is not a good idea. Because in my mind, the number one thing is to get her removed because she is a threat. She is threatening to hurt people, threatening to hurt staff that I love so much. I just want her out of there. She initially listens to me and says she's gonna and then she doesn't and then other people start talking to her. Then eventually enough bodies get in between her and the DJ and her and the table that she kind of turns around. But as she's walking away, she snaps at people with a taser. And then as she's going down the steps, she snaps at people with a taser. It just starts screaming kind of crazy things. And I see one of the staff members really losing her cool. And I'm like, please, please don't hit this girl. Like, please, like, you don't want to do that. So finally she gets outside and one of the bartender walks out and he goes out and she snaps the taser in his face and he jumps back and he's freaked out. And finally the manager pulls everybody inside, just locks the door and says, okay, we're done. We're shutting everything down. And not that much longer, the cops come up. So I go outside and I see that bartender that was freaked out and I said, hey man, are you good? He said, yeah, that just, just like, that wasn't cool. Like, I'm not really feeling it. And they started giving statements to the cops. And then I started thinking about it, like, wait, they're, they're gonna, and sure enough, the cop asked for everybody's ID. And so I just kind of like went back inside and I hadn't given a statement. I wasn't participating. I was on like the edge of the ring, but I'm actually afraid for that interaction because I have to report any official police interaction. And technically I didn't do anything wrong. All I did was try to like deescalate a situation or intervene where it was necessary. But one of the things about probation is now I'm worried about that. Like, is that gonna go on my record? Is that somehow gonna be you know, used against me? Is that somehow gonna be a mark against me? And I don't know how to deal with that because I wanna intervene. I wanna make sure that I'm there doing the best that I can to help someone be safe or to deescalate a situation or to do the right thing. But I'm actually now in a situation where I feel afraid of doing so.